Hello YouTube. Um, today I'm going to start a new series, which is called my server series. And basically what I'm going to do is go through how to set up a home server, um, both on Mac OS X and Windows 2003 server. Um, basically today I'm going to start with DNS. And today I'm going to start on a Windows server. So basically, um, what is DNS? Well, what DNS does is takes, say, Google.com and brings it to the IP address of whatever comes out and I'll go ahead and show that to you. I'll just go ahead and open up terminal. Here we are. So let's go ahead ping google.com. Oh, whoops. I'm sorry. I forgot my DNS server is down right now because I reset it for you guys. Okay, basically, I'm pinging the computer I'm on right now, which is my Mac Mini. So, DNS, that's all it does. It's take the website you type in and converts it to an IP address. IP address equals internet protocol Ugh, I can't spell address basically each computer or network home network has an internet protocol address and this is the way the world wide web can identify you and knows where to find you and you can find other sites and servers okay so today like I said I'm going to start out with Windows Server 2003 um, it is similar in Windows Server 2008 and slightly different in Mac OS X Server. And that is why I'm going to do two different videos. Now there are two main parts to DNS. Um, first one, forward lookup zones. And the second one are reverse lookup zones. And what what this is is that forward lookup zones are mainly what DNS server is about. They're the ones that take Google.com and convert it into an IP address that your computer can understand. Reverse lookup is mostly used by email servers. What it does is take a raw IP address and converts it back into a domain name. So, for instance, it'll take 127.0.0.1 and convert it back into google.com. And that's basically all there is a domain name servers. They might seem complicated at first, but when you put a nice GUI over it, um, it's very easy to set up. It's very easy, very powerful. Now, I'm only going to, um, you know, put put a DNS server on my local network. I'm not going to open it up to the world because I'm just going to use it to um, put domain names on every computer in my house or most of the computers. So let me go into Remote Desktop for Mac. I'm just going to connect to the Windows server. And here we go. I'm just going to log in. And here we are in the manager server. And I'm going to go ahead and add a um, role. And it just wants you to make sure it's connected to the internet, have your Windows 2003 setup available, 
Um, which I actually, hold on, let me check to see if it's in there. It is, okay. So I go ahead and click next. It's gonna look for the internet, um, find your settings. Do, 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 do. Usually this is not take long. Okay, I'm gonna pause this. Okay. Now it's all set up. And I'm gonna go ahead and select DNS server. As you can see, it says DNS servers translate domain and computer DNS names to IP addresses. Okay, so just go ahead and click next. And click next again, and it's going to install. Starting up the CD. And we just cancel out of that because I want to do this manually. Okay, so now we're going to come in and manage this DNS server. And you can see um, we have the DNS. You can basically have a bunch of DNS servers in here. Um, Bits is the name of the Windows 2003 server. Forward lookup zone, like I said. Reverse, like I said. We're going to go ahead and add a forward lookup zone. Action. New zone. We're gonna go ahead and click next and create primary. Um, we're gonna name this kibbles.org. Don't ask about the name. It just is. It's the name of my OS10 server. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new file. And do not allow dynamic updates. This is not really necessary in a home environment. And here we go, kibbles.org. We're going to go ahead and add a new host. Um, and we're going to type in the IP address of the computer you want this domain to point to. And click add host. And then I'm going to add a few others. Uh, bits is the name of the Windows Server. Um, DC1 again is that, that's just a name for the domain controller at host um, mini.kibbles.org is the name for my Mac Mini. And finally, I'll put www, so it comes in as www.kibbles.org. Add host. And that is it. Um, oops. Go ahead and do that. So now if we 